Welcome to my channel, Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas. I made a previous video how to service uh, the first stage Apex XTX50 uh, dive regulators uh, side mount. And uh, in this video, I will show you how to service the second stage uh, XTX50 regulator. I will take a full disassembly and reassembly and cleaning all the components. Uh, as, per, as in previous video, I will probably not be replacing any parts as they were all replaced last year. Um, with all the brand new components and in this video i will just take it apart and uh, clean all the parts and put it back together reapply all the lube and all the fun stuff so just to stress it again uh, as in previous video this is not for everyone to attempt that um, i strongly recommend it uh, to take it to your local dive shop um, this is mostly for scuba, scuba geeks that want to see how the regulator looks inside and if uh, somebody is familiar with the regulators and want to try to service those regulators themselves. I will be following the Apex manuals. So um, I do have uh, full Apex manuals for those regulators. Uh, keep Also keep in mind, if you decide to do it yourself, uh, you may void your uh, warranty. Uh, and I think Apex has a lifetime warranty uh, so be careful on that because uh, if you are not authorized uh, your warranty might be voided so that's another thing to stress uh, that uh, you should take it to your local dive shop uh, to properly service your regulators so without further ado uh, let's jump into this video if you are new to my channel uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you will find any value in the content I create, uh, hit the like button, drop a comment down below and come back to see more videos. Uh, on the end of this video, I will include the video card that will link you to servicing the first states or you can browse through my playlists uh, to see uh, the service yourself. Um, also on my channel, you'll find a lot of uh, dives here uh, in Canada as well as in Mexico and Dominican Republic. I do a lot of side mount diving uh, for the past uh, few years. Hopefully you'll find something for yourself and entertain as well on my channel. Just to add, I'm not a technician. Um, I'm a self-learner and I figured out myself uh, how to um, take it all apart and I've been doing this, this uh, for a uh, few years now. The first step would be to separate the hose from the regulator. And for that you use an 11 16th spanner. So inside the fitting here, there's an o-ring on the inside and that has to be removed, cleaned or replaced and uh, before you put it back together. I will do that after um, I'll take it all apart. So I will usually start with removing the mouthpiece and my bungee. Uh, that's this way it's not in my way. And of course at the end you're gonna have to reinstall the new tie wrap and might as well take off your mouthpiece at this time. So next, what you want to remove is your cup. For that, I will. there might be a special tool, I don't have it, uh, but you can usually open it with the rubber glove. Dry suit glove, that's the trick. There's your cup and there's a spring inside. Be careful with the diaphragm because sometimes it's stuck. So this is your diaphragm. It's pretty clean actually, not too much sand in here, but it's time to service it, so might as well. So 
So just to let you know, that piece can be separated uh, at this point, but uh, I will leave it in place. Uh, I don't see any good reason to take that out of there at this point. Next step would be to remove the heat exchanger. And pay attention because one side is different than the other. So to remember which way is going back. And then you can slide out that side piece here. So I take out the whole Venturi lever. Uh, there's an O-ring right there. And those regulators can be used as a right hand or a left hand regulator. And so on this piece here, you have an O-ring. So you want to separate that, clean it. And inside here, there's another O-ring. So one is on the inside, right in here, and the other one is on the outside. So this is the body of the regulator inside here. You got a metal plate as well and your exhaust uh, diaphragm. Actually, I'm not changing it, so I'm gonna leave that. Like. So I don't wanna break it because sometimes when you pull it out, the tip will break. So I will just clean it inside here with the dish soap, or with the soapy water, rinse it off and uh, reapply the lubricant all around. So now to take the Venturi lever apart, there's a specialty tools required for that as well. So first thing, I'm gonna slide the o-ring out. I wanna hold it down, not to pinch nothing. And the o-ring will come off. Inside here, there's a little stopper. Don't lose that. Here again, you have a little ring right there. Here's your cap. At the end of this shaft, there's a tiny O-ring, so that has to be taken out and cleaned as well. So at this point, I will clean all my plastic components uh, with a toothbrush in a water solution with soap and then I rinse it off and all the metal components I uh, will put in my ultrasonic cleaner.
So while I had everything in the ultrasonic cleaner, I was uh, re-lubricating all the O-rings and uh, I also took and washed all the components uh, from plastic uh, to remove any remaining sand and debris. There's not much in there, but uh, it's time to clean it, so it's time to clean it. And now we'll, I will go and take all that stuff and I will rinse it as well. So I will leave everything now to dry for a few minutes and then I'll come back and I'll reassemble everything. Normally uh, you would have to put the diaphragm first on but since I left the original one I'm keeping it uh, the one that I installed last year and uh, we'll start with assembling the housing of, uh, of the second stage. First thing we want to install the o-ring. There is that tiny o-ring. It's gonna go on tip here then the plug in the back
some of you may think it's unnecessary I like to put that in uh, as it's easier to thread and it doesn't stick afterwards uh, when you want to reopen so just a little bit of lube um, crystal looping here it's okay to have uh, this way it's much easier to thread it and open afterwards so now I have everything assembled everything is functioning and just gotta hook up the hose and uh, gotta clean the o-rings as well that I have on the hose and still gotta wash the mouthpiece it's still got a little bit of sand in there I didn't do that one yet so at this point we're gonna set the adjustment on uh, second stage so the last step is installing the mouthpiece so I got it on so basically just slide that on make sure the top is facing the top of your mouth so what I will do first I will adjust it by uh, sound if, if I have any ear escape uh, any air escaping from the regulator And I want to tune it right to the minimal To stop the hissing and that's with everything wide open Everything is looking good. It is ready for the dive. So the last step will be to depressurize everything, disconnect the gauge and reconnect the co hose and uh, retest it again. So this is it, uh, the second stage uh, is serviced and uh, it's good for another year and we'll give it a test on the next dive and uh, thank you for being here with me and join, joining me in this video. I hope you got some value out of it, uh, if you found it helpful in any way uh, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and on the end card you'll have a link if you want to see the uh, service or maintenance of the first stage so this is the second stage uh, xtx50 side mount regs and the first stage is going to be linked at the end of the video and again thank you for watching and see you in the next video cheers